a young person who wants to uh, have a, a real career in a, in a multinational corporation should think of uh, himself or herself a little bit as uh, I am my own asset. I need to be sure that at any point in time I acquire the skills, I have the experiences, and I create the connections of the relationships which will keep this asset, my persona, as solid and as durable as possible. And this means that uh, instead of having a, an approach which is a traditional career management approach, what are the steps that I want to do, it's much more important today, I believe, to think in terms of uh, which experiences will I need five years from now, which competencies I don't have, and how can I acquire them inside the company I work in. So, of course, international mobility, cross-functional mobility, taking new, uh, new challenges is very important. Uh, eventually also in other companies or in other parts of my life. If life is not just about work, how can I fill my life with the aspects that I don't have? So, it's very important to be international, it's very important to travel, it's very important to meet other cultures, it's very important to understand how people negotiate, relate and trade. This is something that can be acquired on the job or outside the job. But think long term and think of yourself as I am my own greatest asset and I need to feed this asset. There's a lot of talk about uh, do companies require people to be entrepreneurial or not? And sometimes there is a big misconception that you can be entrepreneurial only if you go in startups or you can be entrepreneurial only if you do new things. Well, for example, the way at Vodafone we look at the entrepreneurialism of an individual is much more whether she or he goes beyond the established you know, way of doing things to improve something, to take a risk, to take a person on board or new skills on board to interpret uh, the role as, well, what can I do more? I always say that we hire people for the second promotion, not for the first one. You always need to hire a person who is able to do the first next job, but also to do the second next. Now, the more a person is entrepreneurial, the more the person starts thinking, not as the boss is thinking, but as the boss's boss is thinking. And when you see these guys or these women who are really entrepreneurial, and they can be in finance, they can be in HR, they can be in marketing, they can be in production, you know that you have hit a leader and that that person will end up very soon in a leadership position. The more I think about uh, my experience uh, in Bocconi, the more grateful I am to this university. I have to say I have studied in three countries, Italy, France and the US, and I have learned a lot traveling the world. But at the end of the day, a very solid academic foundation is incredibly useful. And not because we are intellectual types, but because it's very important to have, when you're early in your life, a framework to interpret the world. Now, then the world can go in different ways. And from time to time, the world does go into different directions. But eventually, it comes back. And so learning very early, in a solid way, how to interpret the world, I think it's, it's very powerful. And Bocconi is probably one of the best places where, where, where this happens. I am still involved with Bocconi. I'm a member of the International Advisory Board. I am, uh, I have to say, amazed by the quality of uh, uh, the openness to internationalism that this university has. Uh, I really think uh, that Bocconi is a very good blend of solid academic foundations and opening to the world, which is, you know, I was very fortunate to have in my days. So, uh, pretty good place.